Hi hey guys, Todd here. Uh, right, what a great meal day again. Um, Diablo, Diablo hybrid, uh, all the way from Canada, um, which is a cracking vape. But aside from that, I was away up getting my tattoo checked uh, today to make sure was, everyone was okay with it. And uh, Ronnie that runs the tattoo parlour, he sig shop as well. Uh, Kingdom Vapors. He actually had these in stock that uh, everybody seems to have been talking about. And uh, is it C E eight? No, is it C eight? The stainless steel clearizer. Uh, so I pinched one. Uh, well, he wasn't looking, of course. <laughs> so I I brought one home. So before I fill it up and start vaping with it, I thought I would just give you a quick look. So I'm just it's the usual, you know, unscrew the top, uh, unscrew the base, and see if this works. See, there's no wicks. I've got two holes on either side, so you've got four holes in total, and you can just make out the stainless steel mesh there through the holes. Now, if I take the the rubber top off and the top pin. Let's see if we can get you a look inside here. Ah, I'm getting attacked by a dog here. See where I focus? Nope, it's not going to focus. So we'll do it the old fashioned way. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Get a bit of light in here as well. show up well there at all. Hang on. Ah, there we go. So there's like, you've got your wick in there as normal, and uh, you've got your coil, sorry, as normal, uh, going across the top, and yeah, it's like a bit of silica with a, a coil around it, but uh, rather than having your, you know, your wick hanging out and soaking the juice up for bottom clearo, it's actually got stainless steel mesh wrapped around the inside as well. So, uh, let's give it a bash. Uh, so, knit this up, make sure it's nice and tight. We shall go with some 50-50 vanilla custard. Uh, actually, I'd better put it back together properly. Oh, and pop that bit back in the top. Pop it in there. And let's fill it up. And it takes two mil. There we go, two mil. Right. Screw this back in. Now I have no idea what setup this is, what resistance this is. Because uh, when you're stealing stuff, you know, you don't stop to ask. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, I'll do this in 18.350 mode, it'll be quicker. Let's get a battery in here. Um, okay, right. Let's unlock this. No, let's switch this on first. Sorry. I should actually be cleaning this up because this gets given away in a couple of days' time. So if you've not entered the competition, the giveaway for the SVD, then do it now. Uh, 2.5 amp. For the clearo, so 2.5. I'm going to wrap this up to four and a half, 4.6 volts. I'll take this to. Here we go. Well, that's just dry. Hmm. Bubbles 
the internet now. Man, oh man, that's taken a fair wee bit of time to soup the juice up. Uh, I'm going to bump the voltage down while I'm... Let's me take a bit of priming this thing. Um, Yeah, I can see bubbles slowly starting to come out and the levels slowly start to drop down as well. In fact, it's dropped down from 2 mil to well, almost 1.8. Maybe life in there. a bit of vapour coming off that. Right, I'll tell you what, rather than bore you to death at this point, I'm going to head off. Uh, I've got appointments to go to and things like that. Um, but I'll check back in with this video later on tonight once I've got some, you know, a tank, a couple of tankfuls through it. And uh, I'll come back and let you know how I've been getting on with it. So, uh, I'll see you in a while. Hey guys, back again. Right, I've got my McDonald's coffee. Sorry, a bit of branding here. Uh, and I've popped another tank full of liquid in this. Uh, what is it again? Ah, whatever it is. Uh, stainless steel uh, doohickey. Uh, I think I'm overdosing in coffee. Um, and nicotine. Right. Now, it's nice to say nice things, and I'm very lucky that uh, a lot of the stuff I get, it's very hard to be negative about because it's generally good quality. Um, this, however, two mils of Grant's vanilla custard through it, and it just tasted rubbish. No flavour at all. Uh, it's if you've ever um, if you're into rebuildables and you've made a rebuildable and uh, you know it usually takes a while for the tank to bed in the wick to bed in unless you you know dry burn it or just tilt it and keep burning it with the liquid and then it beds in faster. It's like this has to bed in. Uh, it's just not provide any flavour. Uh, I've now put in some cool orange by House of Hybrids um, and what am I at here? I'm at 4.5 volts. I've had to knock it down a bit because you've got to be careful if you take too long an inhale or too high a voltage it's just burnt taste. Um, it, it was okay I could go down to the bottom and it wasn't getting dry burns or anything like that. It was just if I vaped it, chain vaped it. Uh, but cool orange. Soon. <laughs> Ten o'clock at night. <laughs> uh, that's the wife giving me the <laughs> enough. Um, right, cool orange. Plenty of vapour, but it tastes of nothing. I mean, this is... I mean, cool orange is kind of like a mental, almost. You know, you're guaranteed to get a taste out of it. You put it in a carto and you'll still get cool orange flooding through. I'm getting nothing. It's just... tasteless. Uh, No. 
dead. Is that a, well, not dead, but <laughs> quite frankly, to, to sum it up, after having a few mil through this, I have to say that I wouldn't recommend it. Now that's just my opinion. Uh, there may be other people out there that are using this and love it and rate it quite highly, but uh, in my opinion, I'd rather be vaping on a cattle than vaping in this. Um, I, the whole stainless steel thing, I just... I mean, from what I understand, it's got an oxidised... Uh, how do I explain it? I probably can't explain it. You know, it's got an oxidised stainless steel sheath round the outside and that soaks up the e-liquid to the wicking coil um, it, there's just it's just crap <laughs> it's just I wouldn't recommend it um, and and that's it uh, I'll have to end that one here I'm, I'm I'm not going to keep vaping on it because I'm not enjoying it in the slightest and, uh, and that's that. So, sorry guys, but this is a, this is a bin job for me. Um, I'm just not impressed at all. Uh, but if you listen to the hype, it's absolutely fantastic. Right, catch you later. Cheers mate. Bye.